So Oracle Data Autonomous Data Warehouse. It, so I'm going to just throw this out there. I started working with Oracle 25 or so years ago. Huge fan of SQL Plus and PL SQL. I still dream of writing uh, PL SQL in my sleep. Um, I love it. And I'm kind of an old school Oracle guy, and I'm used to the old school Oracle, right? Um, big honk and enterprise database system. You, frankly, you pay a lot of money um, for really great reliability, resiliency, and feature set. But this is a new Oracle, and this latest edition of uh, uh, Autonomous Data Warehouse kind of really demonstrates where Oracle's going. They focused on openness. They focus on uh, reaching a new generation of developers. <laughs> Um, through some of the capabilities they've built in. And they, 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 they focus on breaking down the barriers to adoption around cost, which is kind of unfamiliar for or anybody who's worked in Oracle and has had to pay licenses understands. Um, so this is their latest edition, uh, multi-cloud capabilities, uh, clean inter interfaces to AWS and uh, Azure and Google Cloud. Um, clean integrations to the data warehousing offerings from each one of those. Um, great uh, integration into some of the unstructured data platforms that are out there, like uh, AWS's Ice Lake, or uh, not Ice Lake, um, Glacier, sorry, Glacier, um, and uh, a, a bevy of tools available for younger folks that are don't want to write in structured languages to be able to go in and uh, integrate data, run queries, and not have to be a database administrator. Um, love what this guy, what these guys are doing. Love where they're going, and it really, to me, this is more about uh, you know AW, ADW uh, autonomous data warehouse, and it's more about how the company is really, you know, if I if I I think I've mentioned this before, if I, I draw a liking or a parallel, it's kind of like Microsoft shifting from where they were into this cloud company. Oracle is 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 going that way, and then some. They're kind of really end indexing on this uh, on this uh, new way of doing business. So super excited. I think it's going to attract a lot of users. Uh, certainly, it's going to uh, protect their, their existing business. But I think this opens up their, uh, their addressing market considerably. So Matt, does, uh, does the autonomous data warehouse, is it autonomous based on any AI, machine learning, generative oh, yeah. AI, something like that? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, and this is something you see through and through with uh, with Oracle. They they built it into uh, their MySQL Heatwave as well. But they use AI and machine learning for to handle. It, 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 it I could spend forty five minutes on this because it, it goes so detailed. But you know, when you think about the mundane tasks that database administrators perform every day, every week, and the amount of hours they put into tuning to creating indexing. Um, uh, capabilities and to fine tuning those indexing capabilities, it is a it's a never ending art and science. And um, through auto tune, some of these capabilities that uh, uh, Oracle's built in that's based on machine learning and AI, they perform a lot of this auto tuning on their own. So that you know those expensive DBAs that you know are wasting their time on these tasks don't have to do it anymore. So you want the best, you know, best possible search at the at the fastest possible time. That's pulling from a lot of different tables with all these weird key constraints. Don't worry about it. Oracle's going to handle it on the back end for you. Um, trying to, you know, to do your uh, backups and your replications appropriately over time. Don't worry about it. Um, Oracle's going to handle it for you on the back end. This is all they're driving to this. When we say autonomous, fully autonomous from an operations perspective data warehouse environment. Yeah, the first time I heard the moniker autonomous data warehouse and I heard uh, Larry kind of going uh, going through this, um, you know, I was pretty skeptical. But as we move forward, it actually is in fact autonomous. Mm -hmm. And based on, I think, probably learning, a lot of the learnings they had in SaaS, enterprise SaaS with Fusion combined with uh, their knowledge of data warehouse and databases, it seems like they've really pulled together uh, something pretty special. Yeah, and that's t just one last thing on that, Pat, because I, I know I tend to talk a lot, so I'll go quick on this. Um, but I think that's what makes them so unique. You know, they have this, you know, they have this breadth and depth of experience both across the SaaS world and the enterprise world. They've spent so much time in both. That makes them really unique in how they approach uh, delivering these solutions out because and I think they, they might be unique in that kind of, 
breadth and depth um, experience around database, certainly. So that's why I'm kind of excited about what they're doing and, and where they're going to go from here. That's awesome. And have you written uh, any papers on this that people can learn more about this or blogs? Yeah, so we've done quite a bit. Uh, I, I wrote a, a nice white paper on Autonomous Data Warehouse about a year ago. Up, and we can find it up on the More Insights and uh, Strategy website. Certainly have uh, contributed to Forbes quite a bit on this. And I'll have a new blog coming out, on, uh, I suspect, on Forbes on Monday or Tuesday that goes into much greater detail around what uh, ADW is doing for, for enterprise customers. 